In the following, we present our heated inspiratory breathing circuit for high flow therapy, the high flow star system, and the associated high flow star nasal cannula for adult patients. The high flow star system is a heated inspiratory disposable breathing circuit system that can be used to carry out high flow therapy. The breathing circuit system is suitable for use during O2 therapy using ventilators such as the Avita family and the Savina 300 family. In addition, the breathing circuit system can also be used with a blender, such as the Oxymixer from the Draeger portfolio. The high flow star system is also intended for connection to a humidifier and supplies patients with heated humidified breathing gas with an increased oxygen concentration. The embedded heating wire helps ensure even heat distribution, which provides optimally climatized air for patients and prevents condensation. To begin with, we will show you a step-by-step -step guide to attaching the high flow star system to the Oxy Mixer Blender from the Draeger portfolio. First, take the water chamber and push it into the humidifier until it clicks into place. Take the water supply from the mounting on the water chamber and connect it to a sterile water source. Ensure that the water flows into the deaeration chamber and that the sealing cap is open. The water chamber is filled automatically by means of the auto-feed mechanism and a float gauge ensures that the water level remains constant. The first time the water chamber is filled, be sure not to go beyond the maximum water level mark. Next, take the O2 hose from the blender kit, which is used to connect the oxy mixer to the water chamber. Connect the hose to the oxy mixer. Remove the sealing cap of the humidifier chamber and connect the other end of the hose. Now take the heated inspiratory hose and connect the connector at the end of the hose to the second opening on the humidifier chamber. In addition, the temperature sensors and the connector for the inspiratory hose heater must be connected to the humidifier and the hose system. The breathing circuit system is now fully connected. Please note that when connecting to a gas blender, the short blue inspiratory hose is not needed. If you are using a 22 mm adapter on the blender, use the short blue inspiratory heated breathing circuit and connect it to the blender and the water chamber. The breathing circuit system is now fully connected. In addition to use with a blender, the high flow star system can also be used during O2 therapy with a ventilator. For this, instead of the blender kit, use the short blue inspiratory hose and connect it to the inspiratory port of the ventilator and the water chamber. The breathing circuit system is now fully connected. The High Flow Star Valve Kit includes a pressure relief valve and a humidifier chamber connector. The preset pressure relief valve is used to prevent the system pressure becoming too high. The valve kit can be used for high flow therapy in adults, optional, and is not an integral part of the High Flow Star system. The valve kit can be used with a blender or with a ventilator. Before connecting the O2 hose to the water chamber opening, attach the connector to the water chamber opening. Then connect the O2 hose to the lateral opening of the connector. Ensure that the pressure relief valve is fitted to the upper outlet on the connector. Connect the heated inspiratory hose as described above. Now that the breathing circuit system and accessories are in place, the heated inspiratory hose can be connected to the high flow star nasal cannula. 
The single patient high flow nasal cannula for adults who can breathe spontaneously is used to provide patients with a heated humidified breathing gas supply with an increased oxygen concentration at a flow that is higher than the patient's own inspiratory flow. The high flow star nasal cannula for adult patients is available in three different sizes. First, the required prong size is established using the sizing gauge. Ensure that the prong only closes up to a maximum of 50% of the nostrils. The soft prong material helps to prevent skin irritation. The breathing hose can be placed to the right or left of the patient, depending on the side on which the humidifier and blender or ventilator are placed. This avoids the breathing hose being put under too much pressure. Turn the nasal cannula so that the nasal cannula hose points in the direction of the given devices. The nasal cannula hose is made of a breathable material that minimizes the formation of condensation. The nasal cannula is now connected to the previously mounted heated inspiratory breathing circuit. Put the ventilator or blender and the humidifier into operation and set the necessary parameters. Then check that heated humidified breathing gas is coming out of the prong. To ensure that the nasal cannula remains optimally positioned, fasten the bed clip to the patient's clothing or bedding to prevent the hose pulling down or slipping. First, carefully place the prong in the patient's nose and then place the headgear around the patient's head. Check the headgear is positioned correctly and, if necessary, adjust the size using the hook and loop fastener. The soft headgear material and large supporting surface on the back of the head make it very comfortable to wear. The nasal cannula has a hose holder. This prevents the hose from pulling down or slipping, thus offering patients a high level of wearing comfort. Using a swivel connector can prevent unnecessary hose disconnections. Both the High Flow Star Nasal Cannula and the High Flow Star system are free from latex and plasticizers like DEHP. They are tested for biocompatibility and developed for single use, reducing the risk of product-related cross-contamination between patients. The High Flow Star Nasal Cannula and the Inspiratory Heated Breathing Circuit are now fully assembled. High Flow Star – the Draeger solution for optimal high-flow therapy.